What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new, very unique and special FIFA 22 Road to Glory Career Mode series. This series is unlike any other on YouTube because it will be a co-op career mode. This is my home city, Budapest, and the, the biggest club in Hungary, Ferencváros. The storyline behind this career mode is that Ferencváros has outgrown the Hungarian league. They are the record champions, they have won the league more than 30 times, so they have a applied and got into the English second division, the English championship. That's where we will start our journey. And my best friend, one of my best friends, Boris, he is uh, basically the manager is modeled after him. He has a glorious beard. My nickname is uh, Tommy in Hungarian. And the aim of this series will be to bring through young players. And of course, the road to glory will be complete if we win the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup, the League Cup, and maybe potentially other uh, trophies as well so guys please I need you to support this series because I have a lot of episodes already edited I just need to commentate over them we signed a new goalkeeper Nitsuli who is also Hungarian origin goalkeeper and we signed three Hungarian free agents uh, Long and Fiola are really important big players for the Hungarian national team and of course the signings also the transfer policy will be to bring through uh, of course uh, young players from the youth academy but also to sign players who are close in the region so either from Hungary or from neighboring countries so early on we didn't document all the transfers but after signing Nitsuli the backup goalkeeper and we signed the free agents we signed uh, Schön and Kish two wingers who are very young but with good potential Kish has like 70 80 potential Schoen has like 75 potential and they were both very very cheap at the start of this career mode we want to sign players who of course have uh, some kind of connection to the region and that was that is what will make this series very unique because you will see players that you normally don't see in any other youtuber career mode and also of course every game I'm the red player and my best friend is the blue player and uh, already in pre-season we start off with two games where we hit the post and Santo goes through and what a finish he's an original player in the the Ferenc Varos Academy. He came through and he is in the game at the start. Uh, we started this series in like October or November. I can't really remember. As you can see, the first game we absolutely bossed it. We should have scored more goals. We had seven shots on target. The second game is against Spezia, a Serie B team. So we didn't do a lot of transfers. This is our best striker, Boli, who is an absolute beast in front of goal. He has 80 finishing at the start the only downside is he's like 27 years old so he's not a young player he won't grow and develop much but in the first few seasons he will be our main number nine the flair player and my best my favorite player is Tokmak who is from Norway amazingly and you wouldn't guess that and he is a really awesome flair player with a lot of uh, dribbling skills almost seven seasons are complete in this career mode and I already edited five seasons in advance so I can pump out these episodes every two days of course the Liverpool career mode will continue as well don't worry about that and of course we will try to aim to build a Hungarian core but as I said we will try to sign players from neighboring countries as we go on I apologize the first four games got corrupted as somehow my hard drive failed so we beat Bristol City 2-0 and then we went through on penalties in the League Cup we beat Cardiff City 4-1 and Coventry City 3-0 and this is how the league table looks like after three league games we are top of the league but Bournemouth are top of the league as well and uh, the difficulty will be mainly world class and sometimes professional so against the harder bigger teams in the division that we are in we will play on world class difficulty but my friend of course he doesn't play at FIFA as often as I am so we will alternate between the difficulties I will just try to keep the, the results uh, realistic because you know we are a three and a half star team at the moment one of the best teams in the championship and Tokmak gets the first chance there wasn't a lot of chances in this game Stanislas to Billing in the 69th minute what a goal Billing just scored probably Bournemouth's best goal of the season you know how long shots are OP in this year's uh, FIFA 22 game and that 
is a stunning strike. Dibus, our first choice goalkeeper, had no chance. And in the end, Bournemouth win this game 1 0. And on world class, you know, the game will be very tough. But they only had two shots and 0.1 XG, billing a 74 rated player, scoring an absolute stunning goal. And we are in the third, third round of the League Cup. And we got lucky with the draw instead of a Premier League team. We got uh, Shrewsbury, I think, who are in League 1 or League 2. And my our backup striker, may make sure to get familiar with him. One of the star players of this career mode. He scores the first. Uh, there weren't that many highlights to show you. As you can see, only four shots. We we won a 2 nil in the end. I think uh, the Mai scored two actually, and Lyduni got two assists. Uh, and our next game is against Millwall. And Uzuni and Zubkov are our two wingers. Uh, Zubkov is from Ukraine, and Uzuni, who just signed for Granada in the January transfer window, and brilliant back heel by Boli, but shame that Tokmak hit the post. That was the early theme in this career mode. We hit the post so many times and we'd call out the goalkeeper and it was a big mistake. Dibus came out and Mill will take a lead. That was a costly Tokmak uh, post uh, hit because uh, we, it, instead of 1-0 to us it's 1-0 to Millwall. Ferenc Varos has brilliant history in the Hungarian league but this is uh, like a new club basically in the English football and uh, Boli get it's a lucky rebound. Tokmak hits the post twice in this game, but Boli is there to score the rebound. And just before half time, Dibus makes two really good saves, and then it's Millwall's turn to hit the post as well. Tokuma gets tackled and he gets injured and as I said he's my favorite uh, player in this career mode so I really really hope he's not out for long and then we got very lucky there that it wasn't a red card. Blažić, one of our center backs and it was the last man taking him out so it should have been a red card in the end it wasn't. So we get a 1-1 draw which is away from home it's not the worst result. Uh, I think a draw is a fair result because both teams had the same amount of chances and then we play Huddersfield at home and this is going to be an interesting uh, game. Uh, Boli already has six goals in the championship. He's the top scorer of the league. He started the season on fire. As I said, he's our best striker with the best finishing stats. He has 80 finishing and Uzuni on the wing passes it to Boli who takes it down. Really good fake shot and what a save by the goalkeeper. But Boli is really enjoying his uh, football at the moment. Botka who can play right back and center back has a shot and then Boli again he was just unplayable here he passes it to Zakariasen who is another player from Norway Zakariasen has a really good shooting ability at the start of this career mode we weren't sure whether he should be a defensive or an attacking midfielder so we are still figuring it out and Boli finds Uzuni who is a pretty good player he's from Albania and he scores a pretty nice goal Boli with a great fake shot but then the keeper saves it there were actually a lot of highlights to show you in this game and Huddersfield almost scored but in the end after two winless games we ran out two new winners that's brilliant and we get lucky in the League Cup draw again. We take on Colchester United, who are a division below us. And Besic, our backup center mid, passes it to Mai, our backup striker. He passes it to Laiduni. And the defensive midfielder, Laiduni, scores a really, really lovely goal. That was fantastic. And then he does the Neymar celebration. What a strike that is. Thumping finish, and we are 1 0 up. And this is actually a good chance to have a deep run in our first cup competition. Laiduni gets the ball again. He passes it to Santo who as I said is a very talented young Hungarian right winger with 79 potential. And then watch this. Vingo who is a Brazilian. No. He is a USA right back. The Ferenc Varos has nationalities from all over the world. Tokma gets the assist and Vingo our right back scores his first goal. And then Schön who is another new signing that he is a young player who plays for Dallas FC in the MLS, I think. His shot is blocked and Sears passes it to Chilvers and what a goal and game on. Colchester United are back in it. Chilvers are loving it at the moment. Then Maia in the 74th minute, he races clear 
and uh, the goalkeeper saved it. So this game was still not over. Coaches United, 90th minute. We really were very nervous at this point. And as you can see, Colchester are trying everything. And of course, we concede in the 92nd minute. We should have been home and dry in this one, but Colchester United caused a massive upset equalizing against us we are a three and a half star, star team they are like a two two and a half star team and Nitsuli our backup goalkeeper with a big error pairing the ball so it's go it went to penalties and uh, Colchester scored the first one then Laiduni steps up the defensive midfielder who already scored he scores so it's 1-1 one, one. and then Judge scores as well Colchester United with a 2-1 two, a two lead and then Maez penalty is saved he's one of the best finishers in the our club and he misses the penalty it was a good save by the keeper then Colchester score and oh my goodness I flubbed my lines I blazed the penalty over but Colchester United missed as well that is so so lucky so Varga who we signed as a free agent he is a left midfielder and he used to play for Ferenc Varsh he scored but Colchester United score as well and they win the penalty shootout 4-2 and their manager goes absolutely crazy. What a giant killing shock where we are in the giant club at the moment in English football. But look at the stats. We had 14 shots, 6.7 expected goals. Absolutely crazy. Nine shots on target. Colchester had three shots all game and they won on penalties. Absolutely got it about it because I really wanted to do a long cup run but we just couldn't so after that really disappointing a cup defeat we take on Barnsley at home and they are straight away on the attack we were a little bit still shell-shocked from that cup defeat uh, because we were 2-1 up with one minute to go and we thought we were through but you, you never know in football so Barnsley are 1-0 up but Zacharias and Brick gets a brilliant ball from Boli and that's the second goal of Zacharias and then Boli after scoring six goals in the opening six league games he turns provider and the fans are loving it Zacharias and with a really really lovely finish then Barnsley get another chance but Nitsuli our backup goalkeeper makes a really good save uh, he's also a younger much younger player Dibus our first choice goalkeeper he's like 30 years old and Kish another new signing who we signed from Dutch league Tomasz Kish has like 80 potential he's a really really promising player and this is our first time that we score a late goal so after conceding a late goal in the previous game we score a late goal this time absolutely brilliant the fans went crazy and uh, the manager uh, loved it, ran to the players and Tomasz Kish, remember his name because he will be a big, big talented player for us as well. He scores his first goal for Ferenc Baros. I'm really, really excited about this kid. And finally, we win a game where the opposition actually had more shots. And at the moment, Kish is only 66 rated, as you can see, but he has really, really good potential. So it's worth it to develop him. And the next game, we are playing Hull City. Why? We signed a lot of free agents and also Kish and Schoen because we will have a lot of games to play. We are playing every three or four days. And Zubkov, what a miss that was. And then Boli, who has great finishing this time, shoots straight at the goalkeeper. So the first half, we couldn't break down Hull City. We had some uh, chances. But then Tokmak goes through and what a finish by my boy. Tokmak and he does that. Brilliant Griezmann celebration. I just love this guy. You have a feeling for some players when you use them on FIFA that they are such brilliant flair players skillers and that's what Tokmak is he is also a brilliant character and he passes it to Somalia another defensive midfielder after Lydon scores his first goal Somalia scores his first goal as well as a defensive midfielder and Tokmak turning provider after scoring the first one and then Hull City hit the post so we got really really lucky there and then Hull City gets another the chance which Dibus saves and he saves the rebound as well but Hull City weren't giving up and I really messed up that clearance but thankfully we held on we kept the clean sheet it's another win we, we and we are I think close to first place in the championship I will show you the, the league table during this episode 
And our next game is against Blackburn Rovers and we are playing our best lineup because Blackburn were in the top six in the championship so we are playing this game on world class uh, some of the other games we played on professional because i think playing all the games on world class would be just impossible because uh, as i said my friend is not like a professional uh, fifa player in terms of his uh, playing level at the start of this career mode but as, as we go along on the series we will play more and more games on world class and somalia is actually in a really good goal scoring form this was very unexpected because he's a defensive midfielder and that was already his third goal of the season brilliant play and Bolly I honestly would have thought he would score that what a miss and Somalia this time goes on a good run and Zakariasen shows Bolly that's how you finish he's also having a really good goal scoring run in the team uh, what a miss by Bolly I'm still not over that that was really unexpected with 80 finishing you would expect Bolly to score that and we were really on a great run here Uzumi gets a fantastic ball by Ryan Mai, who is our backup striker and Uzuni goes through borrows the defender and what a finish 3-0 we are cruising on world class playing against a really strong Blackburn side we are schooling them at the moment this was oh, the best game for us of the season so far and Mai is really having an awesome time at the moment and Uzuni is wide open in the middle of the defender had absolutely no idea where he will go but then he hits the post that's just unlucky and we were on a roll at the, at the moment we are just playing constant attacking high pressure football Uzuni passes it to Santo and he misses it well that's the thing with young players you need to train their finishing and they need to improve and grow but sooner or later they will get better at finishing these chances but we had an awesome 3 0 win brilliant Somalia had an awesome game with a goal and an assist and our next game is against Nottingham Forest who are also trying to get promoted to the Premier League because the first goal first aim of this uh, season will be just to get promoted into the Premier League and Uzumi gets finally on the score sheet but that was a really nicely built built up play and Uzumi scores and then we are in the second half Somalia gets uh, the ball he passes it very unselfishly to Zakaria Sen and these guys are combining brilliant Brilliantly, Somalia and Zakariasen, two players who are not really famous for their goal scoring. Zakariasen is better at finishing than Somalia, but in the end, we ran out two nil winners, and that's a big win away at Nottingham Forest. It's a hard ground to go to. And as you can see, Nottingham Forest had uh, twice as many shots, so we were fortunate to win 2-0. And we also had another away game, Reading, who are a mid-table side, and Tokmak goes on a brilliant run, he finds Mai, who finds Uzuni, and that is just a beautiful team play goal. Absolutely played it perfectly, love that goal. And Uzuni, you know how it is with London buses. You wait forever for one to come along and then two buses come along at once. That's how Uzuni is with scoring goals. He has four goals already in 11 matches, but he had a little bit of a goal scoring drought. And what a pass that was. I think it was from Laiduni and Uzuni is in brilliant goal scoring form. And he scores again! That's three goals for Uzuni, the left winger in two games. He is from Albania. And as I said, in real life, he went to sign for Granada, but in the end, unluckily, he got, they got relegated. And Laiduni with another banger. This guy can only score lovely goals. Brilliant. What fantastic through ball. And Laiduni gets past the defender and bangs it in. What a finish. What a goal. And then Roland Varga, who we haven't seen too much lately because, as I said, he's a backup player. He's only 65, 66 rated. He was a free agent and he was basically an insurance policy. So when we need to, uh, to substitute players, he can come on. And he's pretty decent, already like 32, 33 years old. A really good finish after a fantastic through ball. And this was our most emphatic win of the season, 4-0. And here, here finally we show you our first league table 
At the moment we are in first place, but Stoke, Burnham, Fulham are really close to us. It will be a really tight, tight race. Hopefully we can stay up there all the way. My, our, our aim is to get promoted in the first seasons. And our next game is against Preston and nothing really happened. Gavridge, this is the first time that we see him. He is also an original Ferenc Varus player with a very, very good potential. And they combine with Boli and Boli gets the first goal. He had also a little bit of a goal drought but finally he scores a banger of a goal seven goals for Boli in 12 matches he's really as I said our best finisher Schön gets a really good ball from Somalia can he finally score Schön oh my goodness what a save and I think Somalia was offside there and there it is we dominated and we ran out one nil winners against Preston so we keep our first place in the table I really hope that you guys enjoyed this first episode i will upload every other day in this series i really need your support on this one so please leave a like and thanks for watching have a nice day see you later guys goodbye